Hi friends, it's a mail day. So here we have Ink Flight from May because I've been out of town. So here we go. We got words on here. Uh, ooh, Pannonia. So these are Pannonia inks. So they're all, um, he's from Hungary. Here we have a, <laughs> a dip pin, friends. With, uh, this says it has a, a Banzug nib. This is a um, 1.5 stub nib, which I don't have. So, um, that's pretty interesting. I think the this type of calligraphy that's usually done with this is actually not, does not play to the strengths of lefties versus pointed pen, which actually does. And then we also got a sticker. Nope, a magnet. And Oh, dope. Look at this, an ink swab notebook. So it says that this is a um independent notebook maker in Malaysia. Um, and this has been discontinued. Let's hope I don't like it very much then. <laughs> We're not using it today. Um, so we got our supplies to look at our inks. Um, I'm also not using this today. Well, maybe I'll try it. I've got... Um, this little inks, and I have, um, over here I have this blank notebook with Tomoe River paper, which I love the sound of. I have some coloring cards, I have my cheapy paintbrush, my pointed uh, pen calligraphy dip pen, my glass dip pen, some things of water, a rag. I got a new rag um, that's also stained. And let's go. So, um, You know who you are. Should we go in, earlier, in order? Yeah. Oh, we didn't grab an important thing. Patina. Abigail. I don't, I'm not going to be pronouncing these correctly. Apologies in advance. Because I would have to look it up. And I did not prepare. Mustvorus. Zuzma. Orgona. Balaton Kek. Kek means blue. And Almazold. What we didn't grab. Our ink a pet. <laughs> Y'all, seriously, it feels like you're not getting as much of a frame as you used to. Am I wrong about that? Oh, um. I don't 
don't think there are any shimmeries, but we'll, per usual, give them a little shake. Um, I also didn't get my glasses. Like I can see without them. <laughs> So for Bettina, it says it's inspired by the verdigris seen on the monuments and buildings of Budapest. Do we like the scratchy sound of that nib? Question. You know what I notice is every time I put this down, I put it down that way. I was watching my other video. Spelled this already. Two ends. We're off to a good start. Hey, hey. Swatch. Yes. I remembered, friends. This is a very light color. I don't know if it's just that this has, like, the brush was wet instead of inky, but it looks like a watery sort of ink, so not a lubricated one. Earlier I was watching my video of swatching other inks that are actually still on this desk. And I was like, Maria, you keep putting your arm in front of the camera too much. You gotta stop it. And what was I doing just now? Yep. That. Put my arm in front of the camera. There you are, patina. And then the second one was Abigail.
I dip this too far in the water. Dang it, Maria. Gosh. Very soft. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. I don't think I have a color quite like this shade of pink. It's really mm, more fuchsia than mine, perhaps. Ooh. Most Voras. Oh, I didn't read you about Abigail. It's a pink ink. Shines brightly when exposed to ultraviolet light. Ho ho, friendos. Exciting news. I have an ultraviolet light. Must Vores. This warm shading brown ink is inspired by must. Young wine. Hmm. Not my color so far. A lovely color, but you know, we each have our loves. Um, it's nice to be swatching ink. So meditative. It's a nice color. Uh -oh. I got water on this next card. Now I'm very excited about getting this because that means I can go watch Amanda's video that I've been avoiding. 
for spoilers. Um, let's see. Zismo. I feel bad about not knowing how to pronounce these. Because you can't do your homework when it's a surprise, you know. I don't like how there's that blob there. Nope. Thirsty brush didn't work. They describe these as vivid colors, and this does not strike me as vivid. About this ink, they say Like the simple lichen, this ink displays many different shades and colors. I'm assuming like for which it's named. This reminds me of like one of my troublemaker, like a bit like a green petrichor in the writing. My hands feel super dry today because I got, I had so much ink all over them. I have this dye remover that works phenomenally, but it's very drying. And then also all the hand sanitizer ever that I've been using. Orgona, which is this lilac ink, just like the namesake flower, mesmerizes with its beautiful soft colors. I got ink all over. This <laughs> is my handle. Okay. I forgot how to write an R. Not like at all, but in this alphabet. <laughs> Maybe I just forgot how to write it with this pen for a minute. <laughs> Maybe the pen is just not holding ink very well. Let's blame our tools instead of ourselves. That's what we do, right?
I've been thinking I should try and get back into watercolor. And like, maybe I can use some of these inks as watercolors, you know? Because why not? Who says? Now we've got Balaton Keck. So this blue multi-chromatic ink is an homage to Lake Balaton, an iconic destination in Hungary. No, apparently not. No, the ink does not want to stick to this. I'm going to have to set it on fire again, friends. Which reminds me of abalone, milky ocean. Oh. I didn't write the name of the brand. Don't worry. I didn't forget. Just did it out of order, okay? You know, this was the right way to hold the pen. I wonder if I chipped it. Does it look chipped? Write in the comments below, thanks. That Orgona is doing some really amazing things as it dries. I don't know if you can see it back there, but it's amazing. And then the last one here is Alma's Old. Apple green ink has shading and some water resistance. Well, now. This reminds me. Schrodinger. Which will be making an appearance in 30 and 30 days, I think. Because I haven't used it yet. In a pen. Holy cow. Maybe all these will too. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I think. 
and where the end is chipped. That's great. Okay. Now, the interesting thing is most dip nibs don't work super great with fountain pen ink because it tends to be too watery. Dip pen ink is usually thickened slightly. Ooh, they smell, they smell sm slightly minty, maybe? I need to eat, it's late. I could also just give up on that idea and then go to bed early. Have fewer calories for the day. Win win. So here's our swatches. And I was going to try and write something on here. But I can't exactly get the notebook in frame. Come on. What are you doing? Come over here. And then you come over here too. Where did it go? Here's our dip pen. So, it holds the ink in between those two metal pieces. There's one thing I almost always practice writing. It's my name. Hello, Maria. Hi. We should try that with Orgona. Really full.
No more wants to come out. Well, that's enough for now. You've messed around long enough. This might be fun to play with, but it's not going to replace my normal dip pen. So, here's May's 30 inks. 30 inks, jeez Louise, Maria. Here's May's ink flight. Some Pannonia. We got Patina. This is greener than my camera's showing it. This is it here. Nice shading. Abigail. Which is looking true to color to my eyes. Mustvoros. This is really nice. It's kind of a rust. So it's brown but reddish. Again, not my favorite, but a very nice color. Uh, girl, can you pick things up? Zizmo. Probably not pronounced that way. This is quite neat. So around the edges, it's almost peachy. And then shades of green. That one is here. We have Orgona, and then this is pinkish, purplish, and blue. Maybe, you know what, if you look at the letters there where it says Orgona, it almost just looks lavender, huh? I think this is one that's described as lilac, and that is here. So quite light. Um... In the writing, it looked legible. We have Balaton Keck. And Alma's Old. And then, because we're not going to forget. Ultraviolet light. Wow, y'all, that looks so funky on the camera. I guess it does shine brightly. If you look at... But the camera does not make it look like it looks IRL. <laughs> um, and then we also got this magnet and that thing, the notebook and a pen. And uh, that is our um, May 2022 ink fight. Just a little bit late. Super stoked. I am excited to try these in some broad nibs, I suspect, for most of them. Um, uh, thanks for watching, everybody.